So I see incontinence a lot. It's one of the most common things that I see in my office. Um, it's most common in women, though it can occur in men. Um, there's different risk factors for incontinence, um, particular to the female gender, childbirth, and um, pregnancy can change the pelvic anatomy and musculature to increase your frequency of incontinence. Um, elderly women who've gone through menopause tend to have a higher frequency of incontinence. So stress incontinence is one of the most common types of incontinence that I see. Um, it occurs mostly in women, sometimes men with prostate problems, especially who've had prostate surgery can have stress incontinence. It's the type of incontinence that you have when you leak urine with physical activity. So another common type of incontinence is called urge incontinence. Um, that's kind of an overactive bladder issue where you get strong urges to go to the bathroom and you may not be able to make it to the bathroom in time. Or patients who have urge incontinence may have um, symptoms like urinary frequency where they're going a lot more frequently than they used to, strong urges that they can't control to go to the bathroom, um, or even waking up a lot in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. A typical scenario for male stress incontinence is a man who's had prostate surgery um, to either help him pee or for prostate cancer. Men can also develop urge incontinence and that can be from, from neurologic problems like um, stroke or chronic medical conditions like diabetes. Um, aging can cause overactive bladder type symptoms. There are certainly things you can do to try to prevent stress incontinence. Certainly maintaining a healthy weight decreases your risk of incontinence. An aggressive regimen of Kegel exercises would be the most conservative thing. Behavioral modifications to try to um, prevent yourself from being in situations where you have a full bladder during periods of exercise. Beyond behavioral modifications and physical therapy, um, we're looking at uh, more surgical options. Surgical intervention can range from bulking procedures where we put a collagen-like substance in to kind of help your urethral sphincter keep the urine in, um, to placement of a sling. I do think that a lot of women don't seek treatment because I think it's kind of um, carried on from generation to generation that this is just a natural part of aging and just something that you have to live with. Um, and I have patients tell me all the time that their quality of life really is affected in a negative way by incontinence and that this type of intervention can be life-changing.